that's the most expensive item your child will carry to and from school. But what's happening to those laptops during the year costs districts thousands of dollars. Now new at 10 as 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains one district hopes to come up with a solution. With his bags packed, we have Crayolas, like three erasers. Jonah Painter is ready for class, but there's one school supply that has mom Tara concerned. These things break real easily. Jonah and every other middle school student in Lawrence are issued an iPad, while high schoolers are given MacBooks. They had a big parent meeting for it, um, went to the parent meeting, and I actually went to the principal and I said, what if something happens to this? Does that mean I have to pay for this? And he says, oh no, the, the, the school district takes care of it. Since last year, students have lost more than $120,000 of district iPads and laptops. Our challenge is those power cords and adapters. And another $30,000 of lost or broken cords. And the district is on the hook for most of those costs. The technology team will be bringing to the board tonight things that they can explore that they've heard other districts have tried. 41 Action News searched through other school district policies. We found some districts like Park Hill offer optional insurance policies, while other school districts like Olathe do not. Our board has taken a, a strong stand that they know devices are expensive and they know some families cannot afford them and they don't want to create inequities by um, having fees. A policy painter hopes will stay the same. When you're a single parent, you you know, you're really budgeting. The Lawrence School Board did not make any decisions on what to do about the cost, so this school year the district will once again bear most of the costs. Reporting in Lawrence, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.